established in 2006 with the first batch of 44 students, has now grown into an institution with close to 1,200 students, 105 faculty and 60 administration staff. Over the years, more than 350 students have received their BSMS degree, 40 have received their PhD degrees in basic disciplines like physics, chemistry, biology and mathematics. Over 900 research papers have been published so far and more than 200 research projects are under progress. Furthermore, several members and students have received recognition and awards not only in India but world over. ISER Pune, with such research and academic accomplishments, is emerging as a preeminent institute of excellence nationally and internationally. Many international institutes and universities are seeking active interaction with ISER Pune for research collaboration, faculty and student exchange. In less than a decade, ISER Pune has made a mark, the place to be in. Based on the recommendation of the Scientific Advisory Council to PM, Education disseminates new knowledge, research creates new knowledge and we must get that together. A great experiment in uh, India in uh, science. We had a campus called NCL Innovation Park. We decided the first floor, we will convert that into the ISER uh, for the first year of the admissions. I was appointed as the first director of ISER Pune in the year 2006. I did not fully realize the challenges of establishing ICERs as brand institutes in science education and research. I was simply jubilant about the new possibilities. In the very first board meeting, Professor C. N. R. Rao underlined the visions of ICERs and also laid down the tenets for ICERs and also the processes of achieving the same. Thus, the journey of ICER Pune began. In the morning of August 16, 2006, Professor N. Kumar, Chairman of First Board of Governors of ISER Pune, along with Dr. R. A. Marshalkar, Dr. Shivram and the First Director, Professor K. N. Ganesh, walked the ramp at NCL Innovation Park in midst 44 students of the first batch for the historic opening of ISER Pune. In the limited space of 10,000 square feet, comprising a single classroom surrounded by teaching laboratory, library and computer room, ISER Pune was born. The first year was an exciting and memorable time, putting in place not only academic structure but also weaving a relationship of students with faculty. ISER Pune started looking beyond already. By 2008, ISER Pune moved into a transit 100,000 square feet campus, Sai Trinity, housing a complete institute. The research teaching labs, classrooms, computer lab, library and faculty offices. State-of-the-art facilities like cold atom lab, laser lab, mass spectrometer, high performance computer, etc. were installed. This greatly enabled attracting excellent faculty who could actually start their research immediately on joining ISER. There was no sense of temporariness in the functioning and by 2009, the first research publications started coming out of work done at ISER Pune. Atmosphere in ISER is very friendly, very conducive to conducting uh, research at uh, the frontiers. Freedom to do what I like most and this is what is available in ISER Pune. All of our students, more than they learn in the classrooms, they learn by actually doing research projects. Imagine your first biopractical to be given a microscope and a screwdriver and, and to be asked that, come on, like, take the microscope apart and try and put it all together. It adds a lot of fun to, to research. In fact, that element of play is uh, extremely important in research and uh, I think in somehow the undergraduates bring that element of play into the research and that's very enjoyable. One of the great aspects of ISA is this innate flexibility from the third and fourth years where you can actually choose your own suite of courses. It is possible that a student has chosen a certain path which makes them have a certain skill set which is, just doesn't exist anywhere else and they might do something absolutely new with that. In parallel, the institute was busy in planning its permanent campus in the 98-acre land made available by NCL next door. 
while the architect conceptualized the form aesthetically, the faculty and students imparted function in design of lecture halls, specialized laboratories, student residence and faculty housing. 1st April 2010 is a day to remember in the history of Isar Pune. As the then Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh unveiled the foundation stone of the campus. Delighted to participate in the foundation stone laying ceremony of the new campus of the Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research, Pune. This led to the creation of Transit Labs, Mendeleev, H Cross and G1 on campus, greatly alleviating the increasing requirement of teaching and research labs. Life began on the campus with the completion of student hostel and shifting of their residence from the multi-purpose guest house. During the progression of campus construction, Isar Pune was functioning from both sides and in the beginning of 2014 shifted completely to the permanent campus. Every time I come back, there's been a new building operational. It was really great fun being part of the whole process of building up of the institute. Friends to have very nice lecture halls. There's a lot of great facilities like this media facility that I'm sitting in right now. ISAR has started a daycare center inside the campus. Whenever I'm picking up my daughter from the daycare, she's always very happy. So what else we want? The administration at ISAR Pune, it provides a proactive support to the important stakeholders of the institutes, that is the students and the faculty. The main building houses the advanced chemistry, biology, physics labs with the state-of-the-art facilities of NMR, X-ray, imaging, laser labs, etc. And I was thinking about the equipment that we had in our, you know, fancy research institute in Singapore and compared to what you guys had here, it was fantastic. You guys had everything that we wanted and didn't have. We hold regular summer and winter schools to train students. We have held several international conferences which were very successful and which have essentially put Isar Pune on the global map now. 15 June 2014 became a historic landmark when the President of India dedicated the modern Isar Pune campus to the nation and delivered the third convocation address in the presence of Human Resource Minister Srimati Smriti Zubin Irani. Young friends, you have received your training from one of the best emerging institutions of India. It is quite amazing and I'm told that when you try to establish a new world class institute, it is a tall order. I congratulate Professor Ganesh for not only living up to the dream of having a state-of-the-art teaching and research lab and innovative classroom and student and faculty residency, but also to achieve an 87% placement record in a mere eight years, which is extremely commendable. It was a great dream come true for all involved in the creation of ISER and those whose professional and academic growth was symbiotic with the growth of ISER Pune. Today's campus has not only academic and research facilities, but also sports and recreation facilities. Say a kind of beehive of cultural activity. There's so much going on that sometimes uh, one wonders how to participate in all of it. With faculty now staying on campus and landscape development in progress, Isar Pune has made it. What is required of a 21st century research education institute? My heart murmurs with happiness. Even though you have sacrificed your science, others have been able to pursue excellence in research. Isar Pune is a product of collective efforts of faculty, students and staff. Through this process, we think we have given something back to the society that has supported us. The Isar Pune motto symbolizes it all, where tomorrow's science begins today.